Now, there is a particular anatomical peculiarity surrounding the piriformis muscle, and that is that the sciatic nerve comes out of the pelvis very close to this muscle. Now, normally, the nerve, which is quite big, will arise here, which is the space just below the piriformis muscle and will run across the buttock like that. But sometimes the nerve actually comes through the muscle itself and sometimes, which is even more significant, it comes above the muscle and so it's bounded on one side by the muscle but is actually bounded by the sharp edge, the bony edge of the sciatic notch. When the piriformis muscle itself is shortened, it becomes fatter and it's often what happens if you get triggers, the triggers will contract the muscle so the, so the muscle itself will increase in volume and therefore it will pinch this, it will pinch that and it may pinch this sciatic nerve. So any of these, but more commonly the top two, which are rare variations, can become compressed by the piriformis muscle and then cause symptoms of nerve compression and those symptoms will give you pain shooting down the leg not a deep ache but a shooting electric pain and you can get numbness tingling and even weakness in the leg so this is an indirect effect of the piriformis muscle and is commonly called the piriformis syndrome. There's a lot of controversy around it. There are the believers and the non-believers. And with the believers, over the years, there have been many different kinds of treatments. The surgeons have gone and actually cut the muscle or release the muscle. So they go in and they just remove the tissue from around the nerve close to the muscle. More recently, people have used Botox injections into the muscle and some with quite good results.